Welcome to Comic 2 Reviews, and this review is on R2-D2 in his Return of the Jedi look, and it's part of the vintage potted line of Star Wars action figures. And right away, it's a mixture for me of both good and bad. Uh, one thing to notice is that this is R2 when he was in Jabba's palace and he was basically serving drinks. Uh, he got reduced to basically being a waiter. And uh, if you want R2-D2 for this type of mode, uh, it looks great. And you could have other action figures around him maybe. And uh, he's serving uh, drinks. Uh, that's uh, the interpretation of R2 that this figure has. And that's his real purpose. But if you want an action figure of R2 that is just regular R2-D2 without this uh, serving drinks mode, then I think it's kind of a disappointment. I'll get to that in this review. Uh, one thing to notice is this comes off really easy. This is the harness and all of these cups are attached uh, to the harness. You can't take it off. And it really fits easy right there on R2. And that's nice, uh, but you could take this out. This you could spin around here, but I don't think you can remove this part here. This is part of like the drink area thing here, and you can spin that around the top. And even if you did take this out, there would be a hole in the center there, and that wouldn't be cool. One thing to notice is he does have the middle leg here, and it is articulated up and down. And you can use that articulation here to have R2 like this. But what's cool is when you push this up, right here is going to pop out. That's right, this little sensor thing. But you could also take this part out and you put in Luke's, they gave you the saber hilt, Jedi saber here. But when you push that down all the way in, the leg pops out on the bottom here. But if you put, push that up, the saber pops out. But unfortunately, you cannot put this part in here. And you can't put this part on top of it. So you can't use both. And uh, you need this part to, when you push it down, it fills in the gap over here. And this will pop out here. Again, uh, for regular R2 mode, uh, this gets in the way. And the head, you can turn it a bit. And here is really nice, is you open up this little chest panel. And this little, uh, see that? Little uh, detail here. You could take this out. And when you put it in like that, it closes up. And the back here is very plain and basic. And the sides here, pretty nice. Again, this is based on his Return of the Jedi look. And nice detail on Luke's saber here. You can see the colors, the black here. They put a little like bronze color paint there. It's unlit. But if you don't have a Luke Skywalker, then this guy is just flying solo like that. Uh, as mentioned, it's meant to have this harness piece here, but you want to put the feet straight. And this is how this uh, vintage R2-D2 is supposed to, to be. If you have a display, uh, it's supposed to be that Jabba Palace scene. Uh, serving drinks all around and uh, so that's my review on it. The good is that uh, it does uh, uh, play to that scene really well in the film and uh, the not so good is if you wanted it to also be a regular R2 to stand alone without that scene in particular then this probably is not the R2-D2 for you. There's others out there but overall uh, a pretty good figure 
and it is on the vintage Star Wars clotted line this one so that's the review thanks for watching and talk to you later Even in the Marvel Universe, we have watched the Star Wars films. So impressed was Stark Industries by R2-D2 in Return of the Jedi when he was serving drinks that Stark Industries made their own R2-D2 and he's used at social gatherings to serve drinks and beverages. Way to go R2.